alongside familiar faces. Fresh-faced recruits. The older guys like Miller, Sergeant Sullivan, and myself. We're known as the old breed. Old. We're not even out of our 20s. Alright, this is part two, uh, mission two of our World at War Let's Play campaign on Recruit. Um, yeah, that's uh, Jimmy D. Helmer's ID and I'm Little Ella guy. So if you haven't watched video one, please uh, go watch it. I'll put a link on this video. Um, so click that and watch part one first. Yeah, it's uh, pretty sick. It's just us getting into the game again, learning the ropes. We kind of forgot about that. Yeah, we, I haven't played World of War in a while, and uh, I regret that because it's a great game. Yeah, this is an amazing game. I did like two tours on Veteran, and then I was like, it's time to put away my World of War boots, but I'm bringing them back out. Yeah, I just uh, decided to throw it in, and we're like, yeah, we've got to report some stuff on this. Yeah, we were uh, in the Black Ops for quite a while, but then we were like, eh, there's just so much in this game that uh, I think we were both missing. I think both of us are just really into World War II. Uh, I love the Toms and M1 Grand. I love the weapons in World War II. Yeah, I love the weapons too. Also, I uh, love the background story behind each side fighting it. It's really interesting. And uh, right now, we are taking Palu. We're uh, going after an airfield right now. And taking heavy fire from, I'm guessing, all sorts of artillery. Yeah, we're not having fun. So our boat just got hit. Uh, we are all knocked overboard and we're trying to find whatever land we can get on. Yes, we understand. We are under attack and everybody's dying. <laughs> Pretty apparent that we're under attack. So the first thing you want to do here is uh, call some airstrikes uh, right in front of us there. They light up a, a yellowish color and then that's where you know where to put them. If they're red, clearly you can't put them down. And then here I looked at that little uh, private on the ground, but don't worry, I think he'll be alright. The medic team uh, things on the patrol for him. And that was the full devastation of artillery strikes. You're gonna see it right away. I like how you can see the uh, our, our teammates with their pulling, pulling their guns above their head and running. Yeah, uh, it, it really adds to like the game. It adds to the feel, you feel like you're in war. Uh, even when you're like walking through the water and you can push the bodies to the side. This is where I get my stab in, take no prisoners. Then I quickly run ahead and sure enough, trap machine gun position, so I get down. I tried to dolphin dive here, yeah, kind of failed. Yeah, like we said, kind of used the black off. But uh, you get used to this game fast and it is fun. You see our flamethrower guy. I run up there and give this guy a few stabs. <laughs> How dare he attack my friend? He stabbed him enough there. Put this guy in the stomach. Oh, listen to that ping of the M1 Grand. Just beautiful. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. And then I see you called in a nice little artillery strike there. And I was like, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Time to get on my artillery strike. Well, and I don't. I think a lot of people forget that at the beginning of this mission, you get unlimited airstrikes. Yeah, you can just call in as many as you want. It takes a little time to regenerate them though. Yeah, there's a recharge time, but I mean, you know, you fight a little bit, recharge, you go ahead and use it. I mean, you have them, why not? And then the boat here is where I was like, come on, we gotta push up or these guys are just gonna keep spawning. You picked up a light machine in there. Yeah, look at the reloading on these weapons. Just, it's just beautiful. Yeah. I say beautiful a lot, because it just, that's what it is. I also like, uh, the World War II thing because of the fact that everything was a little more challenging when it came to weapons. There was no 40 round magazines, 30 round magazines. You had 8 bullets. So you had one clip. And you had to make those count. Cause then you had to reload them and the reloading wasn't the quickest either. Oh no, reloading was way slower back then. Especially with the light machine that you're using right now. It's like over a 3 second reload when the clip's fully empty. Well exactly. Now we're just pushing through the trench. I think the main objective was that, of this was to take out a few enemy tanks and to get to the big, big bunker. Yeah, we do a pretty good job of moving forward here. Oh, this is when we run the first day, I'm not sure. Yeah, and if you notice, there's a, I think a sniper trying to go up to that tree. 
a uh, little Allen guy took him out. But yeah, the snipers do sit on the tree. You gotta be careful though. Well, I was bringing the fight to the Japs on this one. They were gonna bonsai us, so I started bonsaiing them. You get the, the, the fun little... And then I decided to take a turn here, because I saw Bunker and I was like, Hey wait, <laughs> there's that trench gun I was talking about. Yeah, so there you go. That's a, an example of where they can hide weapons in this. Uh, Give you a generous amount of ammo, and now we... We're storming the underground bunker. I try to get some kills here, but that trench gun is just carrying through them. So I just go up and do a little stabby stab. And then we come up to a huge wall of enemies here, and they're like, Thou shall not pass, <laughs> but we're like, no, we're getting through here. Some 300 right here. I try to call in my artillery. <laughs> Boom, right on the thing. Like, this is when you were like, oh damn, you already called yours in, and you almost put it right on us. Yeah. I was gonna call mine. Right like, there. Yeah, but I was like, I already called yours in. And then for some reason, uh, we played, when I, I remember playing through this before, there was two ways to get in this bunker, and I found the way to get in. So I was going through here, and a few Japs came out and I shot them. And then, uh, Ghibli went the other way. The problem with this was, uh, soon you're gonna see that I actually disappear and it says I went out of bounds. Well, how do I go out of bounds if my objective is right above me? Right there. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. It pops me right back in front of you guys, so I'm like, okay. So our sergeant goes up there, I try to climb up the ladder, and they're like, nope. <laughs> so push you off. And I go over here, and then you just, just tear them off with this MG. You notice in the bottom right of the screen, you can see those being, so you just want to watch that because Yeah, you gotta watch that Another thing you gotta watch out is, they're tricky, man. They'll throw grenades in here, and with all of the display on the... TV, it's hard to even notice sometimes. Yeah, I, your HUD just kind of, you just kind of get used to it, so you don't really notice the grenade symbol. So we decide, okay, let's continue on this mission. And then they're like, wait, no, there's a few tanks we need to take <laughs> out first. And we're like, okay. Not exactly the brightest. <laughs> it took me a little while to figure that one out. I'm like, oh wait, yeah, I remember now. So really, what you want to do is, uh, you each want to put your uh, air. Artillery strike on separate tanks. Yeah, we kind of did on the same tank. That was a pretty cool effect. So look at the devastation that thing does. Personally, I think that's a little overkill, but <laughs> whatever gets the job done, I guess. Overkill's fun though. And then we decided. Speaking of overkill, I told you to put your artillery on that one right after me, and now this tank yeah. gets double pounded. So uh, this is actually the almost end of this mission. This is a uh, very short mission. Oh yeah, we breezed through by this one. So we're gonna let you watch this little bit of a uh, cutscene up here because it's kind of important. Yeah, it's a sad moment. Uh, I didn't like this part. So uh, enjoy, if that's what you want to call it, the rest of this video, and we'll see you in part three, mission three. No! Sullivan, no, hold on, you're gonna be okay. Corvette!